chemical equations so confusing. Balancing them feels like magic. It can be tricky at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's actually pretty logical. Think of it like a recipe. OK, I can get behind that. So, what's the secret ingredient? Not an ingredient, but a rule of conservation of mass. Basically, in a chemical reaction, atoms just rearrange themselves. So, the number of atoms of each element needs to be the same on both sides of the equation. So, it's like counting ingredients in a recipe. Exactly. Let's try with a simple equation. H2 plus O2 produces H2O. OK, we have hydrogen and oxygen on the left, turning into water on the right. But how much of each? That's where the balancing comes in. Count the atoms on each side. Left, two hydrogen, two oxygen. Right, two hydrogen, one oxygen. Oh no, there's an extra oxygen on the left. How do we fix that? We can't change the chemical formulas, but we can adjust the number of molecules involved. Let's add a coefficient in front of the H2. 2H2 plus O2 produces H2O. Now we have four hydrogens on the left. Almost there. Now adjust the coefficient of H2 to balance the hydrogens. 2H2 plus O2 produces 2H2O. Perfect. We have four hydrogens and two oxygens on both sides. We balance the equation. That wasn't so bad. Can we try a harder one? Sure. How about this? Fa plus HCl produces FaCl2 plus H2. OK, let's count the atoms. Wait, there are different elements now. Don't worry, the process is the same. Just count each element separately. Left, one iron, one hydrogen, one chlorine. Right, one iron, two chlorine, two hydrogen. Ugh, imbalance alert. We need more chlorine and hydrogen on the left. You got it. Adjust the coefficients until you have equal numbers of each element on both sides. Remember, you can only change the whole numbers in front, not the numbers within the formulas. OK, I think I got it. Fe plus 2HCl produces FACL2 plus H2. Is that right? Excellent. You've balanced the equation perfectly. I think I'm starting to get the hang of this. Great. Balancing equations takes practice, but with a little logic and these basic steps, you can tackle any equation thrown your way. Thanks, Mr. Abubakar Shalby. This feels much less like magic and more like science now. Anytime. Remember, the key is to keep track of the atoms and follow the law of conservation of mass. Happy balancing. Up for a challenge? Take this quiz and earn an instant certificate of appreciation. I'm so excited to take this quiz after watching the video. And I can't wait to see if you guys join me.